Do you know what? See what I'm just thinking, right? I'm just thinking, right? The random fucking person that just watches this video and is like, what the fuck is this kid smoking? Even though I'm not really a kid, I'm 22, but they're like, they're like, I just want to look up a review for Day Live and they come across this shit and they're like, yeah, Jack81, Sean S. World, no, not Sean S. World, that, what's his name? Sean S. I can understand where you're coming from now, to be honest. Um, it's like, yeah, you gotta elaborate, dude. Okay, anyway, back to my movie review of Day Fucking Live, right? So, back to this sexy movie here. It's okay, baby. I, I, I guarantee you there'll be another, that one of them fucking Tyron leg strong dickheads. Yeah, yeah, I said dickheads. Ooh. Anyway, we'll do this. Cringe me. Anyway, so back to Day Live. But I love when he walks around, he's like, oh, this is the place here. It's like, whoa. And looks around and all, and he's, you know, I love how Billy, Billy Bob fucking Thornton, Jesus Christ, I'm getting a taxi. Um, I love how Roddy Piper is scoping around the place, just looking around and all that. You know, the kind of homeless area, and like, it's a fucking comfy looking place. Like, as weird as that sounds, it looks like, like, there's people there, there's people with couches, like, yeah. Here it is, there's all the things there. And I was like, whoa, and he's just kind of looking around. And someone's like, oh, it's nice to meet you. He's like, oh, nice, nice to meet you too. And I was like, yeah, how much do you get here? He's like, oh, we're, we're all about free movement here, man. He's like, yeah. He's like, you just blend in, you do that, you do your work. He's like, yeah. So they're just there looking around and I love the setup. You know what I mean? Like the setup is amazing, right? The setup is fucking great. He's just there looking around around and you know he's just there looking around looking around and um basically you know he sees people he sees people walking he's like yeah we gotta go here it's like oh it's nice to meet you it's nice to meet you it's like oh yeah cool you know you're you're great you know it's like it's it's cool to meet you it's like yeah just traveling I'm doing work and all that I got some tools and all that kind of stuff just a teenage dirtbag baby so um it's like yeah so he's looking around, he sees people walking into this place. What's in there? It's like, they don't go in there. Only only they, those people go in there, not you and all that. And then you kind of have this guy preaching, oh, this is the end, this is what's going to happen, and all this kind of stuff, this blind guy. And he's just kind of looking around like, oh, shit. Um, so I love that. And the TV's on and all that kind of stuff. And he's just looking around doing his work. Um, And we get a lot of great scenes at those areas and he's looking in and eventually he you know he opens the door he's like okay you know sneaks in and then it's kind of like just sneaking around the place like ooh, where am i going no. but and essentially you get that the great music and like the thing is what i love about john carpenter is he has a way to keep you invested in a movie um when there's scenes that don't have much dialogue. Like, there's scenes in this film that are there's loads of those kind of silent scenes where he's just kind of walking around and you've got the amazing music playing and, and it really works. It really, 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 really works in in the film, you know? Um. So, yeah. God, I tell you, lads. I had a nap earlier, right? And had the nice fucking fart earlier. Anyway, fuck. So, <laughs> basically, that happens... And um, he walks in, he, you know, and there's just these people like, we got to get ready for this. This big attack comes. It's like, what are we going to do? And you're kind of, when you first watch it, you're like, is there a cult going on here? What is happening? Find out in a second. So I love that. Um, they're kind of figuring out what the fuck is going on. You know, we got to prepare um, and all that kind of shit. And you're like, oh, fuck. It's like, here's the gun. It's like, but we got to stop this. And they're like, yeah. So he's walking around and he opens up this thing and he's about to stop. And then the Brian Preacher's behind him. <laughs> it's like an effect of jump scare. He's like, oh, he's like, oh, God, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I I th think I hear you. Let me feel you. He's like, what's happening? He's like, he's like yeah. He's like, I'm sorry. I was, I was just trying to look for a bathroom. He's like, no, you weren't. You were doing something else. And he's like, okay, I got to go. He's like, you'll be back. You'll be back. So I love that. And then... I like when him and Keith David, like, they, they start bonding, um, and they start, 
Habit set, non jargon. They don't have to start having sex, but they start bonding. Um, and I enjoy that whole aspect of them bonding. Why, when I'm doing a review, people have to come home? I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. Yeah. Be back with this later.